name is Sir Link a lot, as I like to link a lot. Linking is a fun and easy way to remember things by trying to find a connection. A link! And it is really good for spelling. Ah, oh, it is so good for spelling. Saying that, we recently put up links for all the times tables, which children are learning in about an hour, including those with dyscalculia. Marvellous. Lots more maths to come, followed by science, geography, history. Linking knows no bounds. But I'm here today to talk to you about literacy and what's gone up recently. We've covered now 90% of the 330 statutory words that the government need primary school children to learn from reception to year six. 90% with the balance to come. Recently we put up, you'll be pleased to hear, links for parts of speech. What is a noun? What is a verb? What is a connective? And here are two fantabulous examples. A noun is either a name of a person, a name of a place, an object, or an idea. N for name is next to O for object that is followed by U and N. And here are some examples of objects that are shaped like a U or an N. Can you think of any? A connective that is also known as a conjunction joins words, phrases or clauses. For example, and, but, or, while, because. Connect begins the word connective and junction finishes off the word conjunction. As junctions connect rows, so conjunctions connect words. Fish and chips. Left or right. Whistle while you wait. Another bundle that recently got uploaded is Super Steinbeck that covers the prefixes for key stage one, like re, pre, in, un. And here are two outstanding examples. The prefix un means not, against or opposite. For example, the opposite of happy is unhappy. The u of un is a smile, and the N of un is a frown, which is the opposite of a smile. The prefix miss means wrong or false. For example, misbehave, misheard, or mistake. Would miss Miss the second S of mistake if a child got rid of it. Not at all, as it would have been a mistake to include it in the first place. Links for 70% of the homophones on the national curriculum are now on the app. 60% of the letter strings and rules and patterns are on the app. Lots of punctuation and grammar. Loads of Susie stories, i.e. origin of words, as told by Lady the Exocographer, Susie Dent from Countdown, that woman in dictionary form. Very exciting. There's lots more literacy to come throughout the year. Children are loving the 90 lessons on the Salinkalot YouTube channel, which they watch two or three times a week in class, with the idea being they become linkers themselves by mastering my eight techniques. Each lesson title is one of my techniques, i.e. lesson one, words and side words. Lesson two, things that look like letters. I did 46 lessons during lockdown, and after lesson two, I got this superb video from a girl called Ellie. We love Ellie. Clothes, leggings, t-shirt, shoes, but nobody thinks how to spell it. Clothes, he uses 
lots of cloth to make clothes. So sweet! That made me think. Hmm. That's better than mine. That's got to go on the app. So I talked to my animators. They brought her creation to life. And here it is! Clothes. Lot is next to he in the middle of this word, with its root being the word cloth. He uses a lot of cloth to make clothes. I played Ellie's video at the start of lesson three and people thought, hmm, I fancy a bit of that. So they started sending in their links. Marvellous, loads of them coming this way, loads of them, with the hope of getting their name on the app along with their creation. If anybody now sends us a link, they win a badge, automatically a badge. Even if the link's complete rubbish, I'll still send them a badge. For example, these sort of things. Separate para. Head in there. There are 35 different types of badges to win. So they can win a badge. If it's really good, it may get played in a future lesson. And if it's brilliant, it may end up in the app along with their name like Ellie's. Here is another great one which I got from a teaching assistant. Her name is Lynn, 49, who's dyslexic. Says, so link a lot. I thought of this trick 35 years ago for the spelling of said. I'm dyslexic. Is it better than yours? What do you think? I'm going to play this now. I'm going to pause it after 10 seconds. Let's see if you can work out what's going to happen. Said. I know that's how you pronounce the word, but that's not how you spell it. Hold it. Wait a second. A bit of magic and... Ta-da! Did you work it out? So clever. Lynn, we love you. So link a lot, I love you too. I've waited 35 years to tell the world about that link and you are my route to market. Please spread the joy. Lynn, we surely will. Things are going really well for Sir Linkalot. We've struck a deal with Pearson Education, one of the world's biggest publishers in education. Wonderful stuff. We are talking to the Ministry of Justice. They've got a fund for literacy, improving literacy in prisons because many people in prison can't read and write. And we are making good progress there. There's a very good chance things are going to happen there, which is wonderful stuff, including maths. And lastly, Matt Hancock is setting up a company called the Center for Neurodiversity. He wants to help people who are neurodiverse, as he was diagnosed dyslexic when he was 18. And again, we're talking to them. Things are looking good. So we're very excited about everything, how everything's going. Hopefully you're going to enjoy the, uh, enjoy the ride for the next few years in the world of linking. We love it. <laughs>